It's the final part in our Electronic Frog Toad Ninja Turtle knockoff trilogy, and it's quite possibly an origin story. This is the Ninja Frog. <laughs> The Ninja Frog is a hair more of a blatant Ninja Turtles knockoff than the other electronic frog slash toads that we've looked at. The cartoon drawing of the Ninja Frog on the box looks way more like the 87 Ninja Turtles. And maybe that's an innocent explosive store in the background, but I think they might have been trying to make you think of something else with that TNT. There's also another innocent store in the background and that goes, T-U, who knows? But my favorite store is Chook. I always love going to Chook. No way! This is very 80s, early 90s cartoon-esque with all the random words on the buildings in the background. But whatever, we've got some non-fall action! I suppose what they're trying to tell us with non-fall action is this thing will supposedly avoid falling off an edge. I really like this mutation image we got going here, with the frog apparently just having mutated as it was leaping. And it having something like this, of course, reminds me very much of the Terror Toad box. One of the differences, though, with Ninja Frog versus Terror Toad and Ninja Hero Rider is it says it was made in China, whereas those two were made in Taiwan. There are a lot of similarities with the design of these three figures, though, that make me think that the Ninja Frog was also made by the same people as Ninja Hero Rider and Terror Toad. You know, it's not too often I have to whine about letter spacing, but what the shit is that? This frog stands on skateboard, has a amazing non-fall action. Go forward and turn right automatically as soon as he comes to an edge. Massive sarcasm quotes. And here's the majesty that is the ninja frog unleashed. And once again, we've got a Frogatello, even though the box depicted Frogiel. You wanna knock that off though, Frogatello? You're giving me that bug eyes thing. Oh shit, I better shut my mouth. He's giving me the gun show. The stickers have this weird spotty kind of blending into the black of the skateboard thing going on. But once again, we have a very Ninja Turtles like Ninja Frog. And again, we had to be reminded of non-fall. He's really proud of that. So Ninja Frog comes off his skateboard much easier than Terror Toad, but it's kind of without his feet, so it's not of a lot of use. Cow a non-fall! Oh shit. My Ninja Frog didn't come with any accessories, but I've seen a picture of one of these things holding a white sword, so mine probably fell out of the box at some point over the years. So here, you can have one of Ninja Hero Rider's swords that he's not using, crisis averted. Plus it's silver instead of stupid white. Now, even though Ninja Frog doesn't have the eye patch like the other two, and he's slightly more Ninja Turtles-esque, he still has a lot of similarities, which, like I said, makes me think he is made by the same people. He's even got the similar hat hanging off the back thing going on. Though Ninja Frogs looks like some kind of Chinese hat, maybe? Ninja Frog also has the very similar brown armor thing going on. Which looks vaguely samurai-ish, which makes sense because ninjas and samurai were the same thing. Ninja Frog's got the arm and knee pads, though the twist on his are they've got a spike in the middle of them. I guess he's not so much worried about safety as he is just stabbing someone. Ninja Frog's foot gear is giant black boots, which are of course just part of the skateboard. Though the box depicted him with red boots, so I'm pretty let down. Now assuming that Ninja Frog was made by Chain Fong slash DA slash whoever, it seems like he was the first one as they were progressively getting less blatant with the Ninja Turtles influence. Of course, if it was in this order, it means they went skateboard, horse, skateboard. 
Whatever the case, I hope they knew how to do a skateboard toy without overheating the batteries when Ninja Frog was made. Alright, so let's check out this non-fall action. Seriously? Looks like there's a little bit of corrosion on the battery contacts. I'll see if I can clean that off. Oh, there we go! At least one wheel's moving. Can we do some non-fall action? Impressive. <clears throat> Okay, now the problem is the wheel keeps getting jammed, stopping it from being able to move. Okay, I have to show you this on a flatter surface, so forgive the uglier backdrop than the pure orange felt that you all know and love. But I'm just happy I got this guy going at all, and I am rather impressed that this non-fall action works to a certain degree. He does seem to get seized up with his wheel quite a bit, but the function does work. And if you don't like the non-fall action, you can always just have him in vibrator mode. <sighs> Ninja Frog's quality is very similar to Ninja Hero Rider and Terror Toads. He's got articulation at the head, waist, and arms. Paint detailing is okay, but there is some overrunning going on, and the hat on the back was a bit lazily sprayed. The eyes would be a bit nicer if they looked more like the box artwork, but maybe his glasses are supposed to be shades on the toy? He does come off a skateboard much easier than Terror Toad. The only problem is his feet don't come with him, so he doesn't work as a figure separate like the other two frog toads did. Once I got the battery contacts cleaned off, he did show off the non-fall action, which worked properly. I wish I didn't have to move him off the bootleg zone's backdrop, but hey, at least he didn't make me worried that he's gonna blow the batteries up like Terror Toad. I suppose that's why he's got the Golden China Seal of Quality. So, the fact he would properly make a turn when he came to an edge was neat, however, he does tend to jam up quite a bit. Five. This time, the frog has a much closer TMNT look, so much so if you didn't see the box calling it a frog, you might not even realize that they changed the animal for this turtle's knockoff. This one also has a glasses-like mask instead of the eye patch like the other two, making it look even more similar to Ninja Turtles. But hey, they put in a decent, albeit kind of finicky, electronic function on him, and he he's still got a few design choices that vary it up from Ninja Turtles. 7. With this guy not having an accessory that is a bit out of the norm or anything even like the eye patch, it makes him probably the least weird of these frog toters. 4. I've liked the artwork on all these frog toad knockoffs, and this one is no exception. The ninja frog on here is very clearly inspired by the 87 cartoon, but I'm not sure if the non-fall action is quite good enough to stop his drop from that high above the city. This is also the most blatant knockoff name in the frog toad toy trilogy. The box has the same picture on its reverse side like the other frog toad toy which is another similarity between the three. Also, you gotta love the mutation leap! Eight. Ninja Frog is a bit smaller than the other two, so it fit in slightly better with the original TMNT toys. But it is still a little big, so I don't know. If he could come off his skateboard intact, it'd make him a much more versatile figure as well. Four. And the bootleg zones overall is seven! It's more of a clear knockoff of Ninja Turtles while still having some creativity, and it really did have the non-fall action, which was kinda neat. <laughs> Ninja Frog, with your non-fall action, may 
know, why do I even bother? No, no, don't lose faith in me. My non-fall actually actually works. Oh, what a pleasant twist. In that case, use your non-fall action to destroy the turtles. All right, you turtles better get ready for frog power. Time to kick it. Oh, uh, yeah, Craggy Boy, I might have forgotten to mention that I really need extra smooth surfaces to perform my non-fall action, and, uh, it, this won't do. Sometimes I hate my life. Damn it, you're also really embarrassing me here, bro. Well, you got further than I ever did. That really doesn't help. Uh, this is kinda awkward. We should probably just be leaving, dudes.